Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Alisa. So in the last episode we defeated the second, or oh sorry, third boss, Isabella Flora I think was her name. And then we used the right hand key on a couple of doors, we even used the lift, but to my surprise the lift didn't take us anywhere new, it just took us to the corridors of the deep level, which we have, which we have already explored entirely. Or actually no, we haven't explored it entirely, because if you look at the map here, if you look at the map, if you look at that biggest room that you can see on the map here, on the top left corner there is one unlocked door that we haven't uh, we haven't gone through yet. How did I miss that? I do not know. But in this episode we're gonna go and find out what's behind that one unlocked door over there. So without further ado, let's do exactly that. And I have to get used to these controls again. Still have to learn this. Still have to learn how to play this game while using a controller. I tell you, it still it still feels kind of weird to use a controller after so many years since last time I used a real controller while playing a game. Let's use the yeah, let's use the elevator. Like I said, it it takes us straight to the corridors of the deep level. But this lift must take us somewhere else as well. I mean, it kind of puzzles me that, <coughs> excuse me, that this elevator will take us only down here. Where we have already been. And that still puzzles me. That elevator must take us somewhere else as well. Oh yeah, I still got them it. I forgot to switch dresses. Yeah, I still need to, I still, I need to get the, what was it called? Well, I need to get the swimsuit, so I can actually swim faster. And we are here. This should be the big room or hall. Okay, this this one takes us to the uh, to the labyrinth, and that's where the boss fight was. Ah, uh, okay, it is the labyrinth. Okay, we have to go to the labyrinth. All right. Let's go to the labyrinth then. Okay, so I should get to the other side. Is this a door? Um. It must be this. But she won't... She won't even interact with it or make any comments. Is there a hidden switch? switch or... <coughs> excuse me. Is there, a, is there any hidden switches or levers or buttons anywhere nearby? Oh, wait a, wait, wait a minute. What about the second floor? Because there is a second floor to this specific room. There is that one... Over there, up there. With the fence. Maybe it's over there instead. But we have been there, haven't we? Okay, we are here. So what was at the end of this? A door? Yes, there's a door here. But could we open this? Yes, we can. Oh, it takes us. Outside here. Oh, there's a manhole here. The manhole cover can't be lifted by hand. Oh, I forgot about this entirely. Okay, so we, but we still need a tool to open this, right? We don't have something that we can use to open this. Let's see. Nope. We can't use a key to open it either. Like, I don't know, Iron, Iron King can't be used here. Yeah, no. Okay, so... And there's nothing... Just some old junk. 
all junk. So I need to find something that we can use, some kind of a tool that we can use to open this manhole. What did this note say anything? Uh, interesting. There is a strange book and a note lying on the ground. What, there's a book too? Dear Alisa, if you read this, it means that I failed to protect you. I was once just like you, immune, but you are stronger than I. So please, destroy the finger of God. It's the only way to stop this madness, okay? What about a book? Or have we already picked up the book? But the game is still trying to tell us that there is a book on the ground, even though we have already picked it up. Yeah, that's most likely the case. Because I don't see no book on the ground. So we still need to... Wait. Can we crawl... Uh, there? Well, she, she's not doing anything, so I guess not. Okay. I just thought that there's no bars uh, blocking up. There's no bars that would block our way if we decided to crawl down there, but apparently she won't, she won't do it. Okay, so we still need to find a tool to open that. And I have no idea, no idea where we could find one. Hmm, and while we are here, let's actually go and return that Poseidon Trident disc over here. Now, does it matter that matter that which one it is, that which statue? Let's try the male one. There is a round-shaped hole in the base of the statue. Something could fit in here. This one. There we go. So now that that has been returned, there's still we still need one more for the lady. Yeah, but let's go to the library. Okay, so there's a door here. It's locked from the other side. Oh god damn it. God damn it. Um Okay, um any other places that I should check? That door on the top left corner still bugs me. Like, there could be a secret door behind that uh, fountain statue thingy on the wall, but how do I open it? She didn't even have any comments on it when I uh, tried to interact with it. What am I missing? There must be another door or room somewhere that I have missed, ent missed entirely. It's also possible that there's absolutely nothing there, and the map is lying to me. But I find it hard to believe. There must be something behind that statue. I'm gonna have to go back down there and try to look for any hidden switches or buttons or levers in the labyrinth. Because if there is anything like that, it must be in the labyrinth. I don't see why it would be anywhere else. And there is that locked gate over there that we checked out in the last episode as well. That also requires some kind of a, a round-shaped coin to open it, not a key. Found a box of Louis bullets. Okay, I missed... Missing those. Old gardening tools. Okay. Just decided to come back here and see if I have missed anything uh, outside. Oh! Okay, there's one enemies here. Okay. Dealing with little dolls like this is easy. I can just stun like them with the sword. But maybe we are getting somewhere now. Was this anything? No. Where did this lead us again? Hmm. Should I try to lower these? Maybe I should try and lower those spikes down. Once I remember that, where could, where could I do that? 
Okay, there's one of the levers. Okay, uh, that didn't really help us in any, any way. There should be one or two more of these things. So let's find the other ones. Okay, that's what we wanted. If I want to see what's on the bottom of this hole, I would need a rope or something. Ah, oh, now we need a rope too. Now we need a rope as well. So we need a tool to open that one manhole and now, now a rope. I mean, finding something simple as a rope shouldn't be that hard. Okay, what, what did this open? Hmm, okay. Seriously, there's really nothing else in here? Hmm... This is a little frustrating. So there are some ways where we can go to. Apparently, we can go to underground to some zero level. Apparently, because of course there has to be a zero level in this game as well. Hmm, what is that one door around the bottom right? It's not one of the levers, is it? And it's not the one that takes us back to the uh, mansion either. That's the one above it. Okay, well, let's go and check that one out. Oh, there's a diary page. Did I miss this? August 11th, 1891. We have stuck up some luxurious looking metal ornaments. Strange cluster shaped objects. We can't make out whether they are man made or naturally formed. It's treasure nonetheless, and we are going to be rich. Okay, that didn't really help us either. Okay, so. We have to go the long way. Mm, here. Okay, and let's take a look at the map again. Okay, uh, did we... Actually, we have to go back. Okay, and from here... Then... Through here. It's this, isn't it? It's this, isn't it? It's this goddamn thing. Um, yes, it, it, it must be that. It must be this statue thing. The interior looks scarier from the outside. Okay, so how do we open that? There's now two of these statue thing is that that are shown as doors on the map but there's no way for us to open them at least uh, at least not by touching them there's no uh, door there's no uh, keyholes or handle door handles or anything like that how do we open those I don't know folks I don't know. We can't even get any clues from, from the door itself. But will this just take us back back inside the mansion or... Uh, no. Not necessarily. Okay. Alright folks, I'm gonna go and take a peek at a walkthrough because I'm completely stuck here. I just don't know what to do from here or where to go. And I don't know where to find a rope or a tool that can open the manhole for us. I have absolutely no idea. And I've been playing for over half an hour now, 
so I've been wasting enough time. So I'm gonna go and check the walkthrough real quick. Be right back. Okay, so we are back here. I'm reading this uh, walkthrough from steamlists.com and here it says, let's see, where was it? Okay, it talks about the pump shotgun here that I should also buy at some point. Hmm. You now have you now have the right hand key. This allows you to be tricky with the elevator. A note in the manner says that it has two elevator cars going between three floors. Hmm. I vaguely remember something like that. I vaguely remember reading something like that from notes. Go to the main floor and enter the elevator. This will take you to the basement. Use the right hand key to open the door, then walk up the stairs and go back to the elevator. So back here, in other words. Okay. So let's... Take this. Bad boy down. And then we just go back up. Okay, we are back here and aha, uh -huh, there's another elevator here. Okay. And this should take us up. Alright, alright. Damn, this was a very clever but also sinister puzzle because I had no recollection of ever reading uh, ever reading that there is two different elevator shafts or lifts. I did say that I had some vague uh, memories of reading something like that, but it's been so long that I had completely forgot about it until I read this guide here. Alright, now we are getting somewhere. So this is the chapel. What is that, a griffin? Mm -hmm. Warrior disc. Does this go to one of the, the other statue in the staircase, or does this go to the gate that's uh, in that one safe room in the fun house? Warrior disc. I think this one goes to the one at the staircase. Okay. But before we go there, can we open these? The door is locked, but there is no keyhole. Interesting. Is there another one on the, on the other side? No. No. I wouldn't be surprised if there's any any items between these benches. Some secret hidden hidden item here, like simply ammo or medkit or something. You found a medkit. Ah, there we go. There we go. Just double checking. How many medkits we have anyway? Uh, five. Damn. And there is these spikes. Can I lower them down in any way? Maybe not from here. Yeah, okay. Nothing else that we can do here at the moment. So let's go back to the st staircase and place that disc in one of those... In, in one of the other two statues. In here. There we go. And uh, these tridents should move away now. Please. The door is barricaded by the large spears, spears, tridents, whatever. Maybe, maybe they were in the wrong places. Okay, uh, let's try it this way. I just thought that the uh, Poseidon one, the one with the trident, yeah, this one would go to the male because Poseidon is a uh, male, but I guess not. Oh wait, maybe this one was the male. This one was the male. Okay, I thought it, it was. The, it, I thought it, it was the female because he has no longer hair. But anyway, oh yeah, and he is carrying a trident. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we are not, we are now on the other side of the spikes. Open the bolt uh, lock. The door is unlocked. Where does this take us? Ah, oh, the library. All right. Hmm. Oh my. What the? 
Oh my. Oh god. This creature is dangerously strong. I should not fight. I should not fight it and just try to sneak past it. Mm. If only I could... Pick up the tooth wheels. If only I could see it. Oh, God. Don't tell me it's coming here. Of course it is. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, well. Take one of these. Okay, so, um. I think it's a good idea to go and save at this point. Wait, are you still wounded? Ah, no, you're doing fine. Okay, so let me go and save real quick at this point. Good thing that the safe room is is right next to right next to this uh, library here, so it's not far away. It's uh, not here. This one. Welcome. Okay, so I'm just wondering, just checking what what you have for some, what you have for sale. We don't need any more med kits at this point, but I would really love I would really want to Oh wait, I have I have bought the shotgun, okay. And also, I remember reading from the walkthrough that I should have used the revolver against the third boss, the one that we fought in the last episode. But I just had some I had I just had some difficult time using it, so that's why I didn't use it at the end. But oh well. Maybe I should take the shotgun with me this uh, this time. Well, anyway, let's save here. Thank you. All right. Yeah, let's take the shotgun with us. The pump shotgun. Only got five shots on this. This one has zero. Okay, that's good actually. Oh wait, no. Let's act let's actually. Oh. Do it like this. Sword there and pump shotgun there. Welcome. And let's buy the pop type shells. These are the right ones, right? These are the right ones. Should be. Yes. Now we are talking. Now we are ready to rock and roll. But let's switch to sword for now. Okay, so let's go back there, and then we have to stupid camera angles and controls, and then I'm have to try and sneak past those things, those walking turrets. Okay. Now this kind of feels like a, a thief game. If only I could see them. Oh shit. Go away for, for a moment, then back. If only I could see them. I'm trying to listen to the footsteps and whether they're coming closer or going away. I think it's all shit. Jesus. <laughs> well, I'm gonna die anyway, so... Ouch. Yeah, there's no way that I can fight them. Just no way. Why do they have something like that? Also, it kind of looks like a four-legged... Uh, duck. Whose beak has been replaced with a fucking machine gun. I can buy 13 of these. Holy shit, let's buy two. So fighting them is out of the question. Well, maybe if I can get the first shot and I can stun lock them, if that's even a thing, then maybe, sure. But but if that but if that, that's not an option, then we cannot fight them. We just can't. If only I could see them. Shit. 
shit. If, if, if only I could see them. If only I could peek from the from this corner or something. So there's at least two of them. Oh crap. Oh crap, it's on me. Shit. I think I got hit there. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's go there immediately and see where, how far we can go. Can I hide here? If only it would walk past us. Okay. Then we go here quickly before it turns around. Oh, great. Can I go up the stairs? Without triggering them? Yes, I can. And uh, we need to get rid of these spikes, no doubt. Where do I want to go exactly? There's a strange shaped rock inside a, inside a glass dome. I feel a strange sense of uneasiness when I come close to it. There's a label under, under it that reads, Here stands the finger of God, the birth of the Saint Johannes Institute. A kind donation from the Manor of Tides. Okay. Let's go up here because we are we are safe here, presumably. Why can't I have a good view of the entire of the entire uh, hall from here? I'm just have to listen to the uh, the footsteps. Okay, now it should be good. Oh no, it's not good. Never mind, it's perfect. Timed perfectly. What's over here? Nothing. Oh wait, there is something there. Well, there's benches here, so I should be safe here. It's a clipboard with a note lying here. I don't want to admit that I'm failing, but it's true that my patients keep petrifying and dying. Flora Isabella already succeeded to give her plants eternal life by turning them into metal. But what if I found a way to reanimate the deceased? Pierre Edmiston. Okay. So he wanted to basically bring the dead back to life. I should be safe here, right? Never mind, I'm not safe here. I'm so dead. Jesus Christ. I should have I should have been safe there behind all the benches, but I guess not. All right, we are back here. So, should I try to get to the other side over here and then down the stairs once that one that one uh, thing has walked away first? Is it now safe? I don't think it is. I, th I never mind, it is safe. But, uh... I should wait till it comes here first. Can I stay hidden here? Yes, good. So... Are there any doors here? Yes, there is. 
the door is locked, but there's no keyhole. Of fucking course there isn't. Is there really, is there really, really nothing else? Like no other doors or anything. Shit. Yeah, there's no way to run away then. To run away from them. There's just no way. That bitch. Okay. So there's no other doors in that uh, hallway over there. So there's no other doors in that hallway over there. Gotcha. Oh crap. Are we safe if we go up here? They can't shoot us from down there, can they? No. But are they gonna now wait until I come down or what will they do? What will they do? And I can't interact with this with these bikes here. There must be a lever or a switch or something somewhere. Just looking around real quick. And hmm. I wonder if I can run. Oh, cut them at stupid camera angles. Oh, there is something here. Where does this take us? Okay. Louis ammo. Okay, those are down. That's good. And does this take care of the the bigger ones at the stairs? No, it unlocked that door. And that one as well, I take it. Oh, that's also now unlocked. Nice, okay. Okay, now I just need to get out of here without dying. Oh, we are here, okay. We should be safe. So, what's over here? Okay, there's something on the on here. It's a clipboard with a note lying here. Chemicals type A B can be found on the top floor. Chemicals type C are stored in the operation room on the ground floor. Dr. Edmiston's permission is needed if you want to use any type of C chemicals. Oh, is there is there gonna be a chemicals puzzle in this game as well? Just like in Resident Evil 1. There was this one chemicals re related puzzle. The blackboard is wiped clean. Some kind of chemical refining device. I mean, is there anything, anything else here? A rack full of chemicals. Chemicals. Nothing else here. What's the point of this room? Well, I guess this clipboard gave us a gave us an, an important clue. But there's no items here. Not that I can see anyway. Hmm, okay. Alright. Hmm? Oh shit. Isn't our crow again? Wait. I'm just here for the bullet lead. <laughs> Long gone. What your emperor was planning is no longer relevant to me. For my safety is guaranteed here. Since I became the king of this castle. What are you talking about? Don't make me fight these guys, please. Oh. Damn. Nice. Your strength that has survived so far is certainly an obstacle. However, I have been endowed with great power. I am literally invincible, and now your end has 
Kong. <laughs> How are we gonna fight him now? Oh, what the... I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. I'm not even shooting, apparently. At least not myself. <laughs> now a joystick would be better. Can I... Yes, I can pause, but I can't access my... Inventory, apparently. Um. Can I got shoot? God damn it! Okay, I can shoot. What a great place for you end. Don't you agree? Can I even move around? Uh, I'm, I can I can move the crosshair, but can I move the can I move this thing? Shit! Ouch. Okay, so there's there's this kind of boss now ahead of us. Alright, well, before I fight him next time, I should go and save, I think. But yeah, so I might as well take the shotgun still. Buy some ammo and then go back and do everything again. Alright, that's now done. So... Let's save here. Thank you. There we go. Now, since we are here, should we go and check what's in that one room? The one uh, the one whose gate now just opened? The one without a keyhole? Should we go there? Nah, uh, you know what, let's go there since we are here. Alright, so... What's over here? What's this? A strange drawing. What could this be? I have no idea. Okay, this looks curious. There's an old design plan for some kind of bomb here. It looks like someone was assembling some, but didn't finish it. Here's what I need to finish it. Okay, so need it. Winding mechanism. Chemical type A and chemical type C. Okay, so this is what we need the chemicals for. Okay. Now what do we need a bomb for? What do we need a bomb for? Is there anything else here? I was kind of wishing that, 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 that there was a rope. Or the tool that we need to open that one manhole. Yeah, okay. So we need the chemicals and winding mechanism. Okay. And we should be able to open this from this side. Open the bolt door. The door is unlocked. Okay, good. Okay. So we are now building a bomb. But what do we want to blow up? Is this bomb for this mansion? Do we blow up this entire uh, fucking mansion to the sky? Just like we did... Well, just like you do in every Resident Evil game ever, really. Okay, well... I guess... I guess the only thing we can do right now is to try and beat that king of this castle, whatever his actual name is. Alright, let's do this. if it isn't our crow again. Wait. I'm just here I'll just skip this. Okay, so... Going a lot better than last time. Stop moving so much, goddammit. Albertus Alvarez is his name, okay. Thank 
take that. But I don't think we can beat him. Not with this health. Hmm. I should be able to move. I should be I should be able to move around the screen to avoid his shots. So let's try to figure out that how to do that. All right. So okay, so I can move like this. But it also moves my cursor as well. So, so I can move the cursor and and this. Whatever this thing is, separately, apparently. Okay, I can do it like that. How did he become the so-called king of this castle, by the way? How did he get that sweet, sweet dank armor and crown and bow and those wings, that's what I want to know. I'm getting the hang of it. Where's the cursor? There. Oh, don't go there. Take that, punt. Ouch. If only I could heal myself. Oh, by the way, is this my health bar or is this these machines, I wonder. Ouch, god damn it. <laughs> this is tough. If only I could move both the cursor, uh, or the crosshair, and this machine at the same time, so I can dodge and still shoot at him. If only I could do that, that would be, that would be sweet. Okay, let's try this again. Let's focus on dodging. Why do you have to be so damn stern? Where it's going? Oh shit. Managed to dodge. So far so good, we haven't lost a single point of health yet. Ouch. <laughs> that one is tough to touch. I'm trying to find a blind spot for that for that for that attack. Okay, that was good. Stop moving so much, Captain. Two more hits and I'm dead. If only I could stun the air hole. Oh, that was a close one. Let's 
just a little more. Oh! Okay, now one more hit and I'm dead. Okay, yeah, that, that was a good shot. Die already, please. Yeah, stay, stay still. There we go. Fuck yes. Invincible, it's huh? Over. I like how that thing just obeys us for no reason all of a sudden. Everyone becomes mad here. That thing there, it bears an unearthly power. It protects this place. You have to destroy it. There is an incomplete chemical bomb in a room near the library. Yeah, we know. <coughs> but why? It's your only way out of here. The one and only exit is barricaded. But once this thing is gone, this place will slowly fall apart. And then it's your chance. Why should I trust you? Because you have to know the truth about your emperor's blueprints. Ah, there are people out there. They will show it to you. Ah. The emperor is not a liar. Are you sure about that? Okay, did he drop any tooth wheels? Found a big pack of tooth wheels. There, <laughs> that's what I thought. Okay, so he's now dead, whatever his name was. Alberto or something. We got 27 tooth wheels, so not, not as many tooth wheels as I had hoped that he was carrying, but oh well. Okay, I think that this is a perfect place to end this episode here. So we need, so we need to uh, so we need to build that bomb so we can blow up this place and also that rock or whatever it was. Let's actually take a, another look at it. There's a strange shaped rock inside a glass dome. I feel a strange sense of uneasiness when I come close to it. There's a label under it that reads, Here stands the finger of God, the birth of the Saint Johannes Institute. A kind donation from the Manor of Tides. Okay. So we have to build the bomb, and we have to get the chemicals. Oh! Well, I I completely missed this. I picked picked the wrong door. What's over here? A small fence is protecting something. It looks like some kind of mechanical piece. Oh, that must be for the that must be for the bomb. Okay, but we'll think about this in the next episode. So, where was the way out of here? And, uh... Oh. Over here. Okay. Welcome! Thank you! And with that, I'm gonna end this episode here. So, thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Alisa.